Hi, everybody. Um, I am here in Ancient Dungeons. And seeing how it is for folks with very low vision, which is me. I have very low vision. I want to finish this, and I am already having, just on the introductory screen, you saw me load in here. Try recentering. Okay. I see a flash on finish. Already I'm getting getting bad vibes. Here's another game that I wanna be able to play. Ugh. I don't even think this is a low vision thing. This is just awkward. Okay. Your updates and bug fixes. I thought this was a game that I bought, but perhaps not. I would think that they would put in accessibility options, though, for everyone. I can't move closer to this stuff unless... <laughs> Unless I physically move closer in my room, and I can't do that, so I can't read the how to play. Um, that's nice and big. I can see my, my stats. Ugh, I'm standing. I see a laser pointer, so I'm going to try the laser pointer and go for the settings. Ah, there we go. Got settings. Okay, that's hard to read. Can't read that can't read this I see ex I'm hitting stuff in my room um I see that that's accessibility and only two options oh standing all right so this is I assume standing versus not standing can't see any of the rest and I'm a little lightheaded here since I uh, <sighs> was leaning down and had to lean back up. Can I get to these advanced settings? <sighs> Haptics. Nothing that I need. Alright, I'm just going to start clicking and raising my arm slowly, hoping that I get to the exit. Same again. Shouldn't have to do that that way. I will figure out the controls as I go. Have to do that sometimes. Oh, I quit. Let's uh, let's re-enter. Need hand tracking. Gotta try this again. Stand up straight, make sure it gets my height right. Maybe that was an issue. All right, it's out of. I can read this, this is good. Okay, they mentioned everything having to do with play, but nothing to do with accessibility. So I'm not worried that I'm missing out on accessibility features. Oh, for. I almost said some very unfriendly words. Okay. It gets frustrating, folks. It gets frustrating. Make things easy to deal with, please. Okay. Gonna start clicking by pressing my trigger and raising my hand slowly, hoping to get to that dismiss. All right. I don't want to quit. All 
right, start of the new run. Press B to equip and unequip your sword. All right, fair enough. That is a button on the right hand. Uh, a is usually the lower one. B is usually the higher one. And that is accurate. Okay, it's really dark in here. Okay, I wish I had my cane. Um, there was no way to... I don't know what just happened here. I, I know that light is probably supposed to be a feature of challenge for people. Um, I'm just going to have to try to move towards the lighter bits that I can see. That looks like this. I've never played Minecraft, but I assume this is maybe kind of what Minecraft is like. Okay, what's new? Haptic vests, that's great. 10 new enemies, all right. Lore, reworked off floors, world generator. Graphic improvements, okay. Graphic improvements can be good. New dungeon, new boss, new enemy doors. Okay, that's more content changes. Nothing about contra contrast. You know, I don't mind spooky. That's that's cool. I just don't want it to be frustrating. Hi. Okay, that's not too big. I I like that. Better you turn back than go forward. This place thrives on the blood of those that die within. The Descendant Blacksmith. Okay, thanks for the warning. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry again. Here, I'll get, get rid of my sword. See if I can... How do I walk away from you? I don't plan on dying. Okay. Ah, uh, who does? Heed me or no said my piece. Okay, so you have to close the dialogue box before you can move. Good to know. Here's a quest guy. That's nice and big. I can see that. Oof. Might have to be seated to play this game and I am not prone to motion sickness, but it's a little a little choppy. Even with smooth motion on. tried to play this, oh, I don't know, about a month ago, so I might have some things, com no, I don't have anything completed here, that's how well I did, so no insights gain, yay, um, ancient dungeon, I guess these are probably the maps I can go to, things that I've found, it's a shame that I don't have a journal page to know whether or not I can read, oh dear, milestone. See, I can't can't line up with it. Okay, I assume these are achievements. Game plus, that's nice. Clear a floor without taking damage. Oh, good luck with that. Uh, geez, Louise, there's a lot. Okay, at least even though this is not great contrast, the original text here with, I don't even know what color this is, tan on brown, I, I, maybe, it's not great contrast. I kind of wish with this milestones, I wish that that was the writing that was here. But I do appreciate that the writing that shows up is very high contrast. Uh, it's just not probably just not as fun as being able to read what's here. I can get a little closer so I can make it out, but it's, uh, I can't emphasize enough how much contrast makes a difference. And I can only hope that the journal pages when they come up are not text like that. It's more text like that. But I, I, I don't know because I don't have any. Okay. 
things things kind of push away from you when you get close uh, a little difficult motion sense wise but I think without the smooth movement I wouldn't be able to get close enough at all so okay hello you're the first arrival oh yeah it moves you're the first arrival since I've been here are you going inside so you can't get any closer than than what I was and as a matter of fact when I lean down to try to get closer it goes even farther away and I can't get close again the studious acolyte press trigger to continue okay I had to bend over to read that wish it was bigger I don't okay wonderful him I mean good but do be careful if the stories are even partially true the ancient dungeon is a very dangerous place you haven't been inside Okay, hey, I like that I can read this. No, <clears throat> I, I am here to perform research on behalf of the Grand Library. I'll be observing your progress using this glass of scrying and making copious notes. So you, the player, are doing all the work. Great. Yes, truly, knowledge is the greatest treasure mankind can aspire to. Don't you agree? In any case, good luck. I look forward to your adventure. Okay, fantastic. Will this guy talk to me now? And say something different? Oh, that's, that's, that's. Haha. -ha. That's a dagger. Okay, you throw a dagger by pressing trigger can't throw your sword. Well, that's good to know. Um, from the music, I guess I go in here. Oh. Okay, can't get any closer. So, again, trying to find the button that I need to hit, because customize would be awesome. Can't do it with the sword. Need to do it with the laser pointer, which can't really see once I get beyond the black in the background, so slowly clicking as I go down because I see customize. Try to get closer, it moved away from me. Shakes when I get up. Okay, that's too small to read. Okay. Oh. I'm going to go in. Um, I'm not going to customize anything because I couldn't read those settings. Smooth turning is still snap turning. So turn my body and try to go straight forward. Oh, gosh. Enter. Okay, enter. I saw that I'm on easy. So let's just hope for the best. Okay, sparkly thing. I'm walking over it. I'm sure something told me how to pick this up, but okay, journal page. Lovely, how do I collect it? Press Y to open and close the menu. Now let's Okay, stats. Don't know what that is. It's red text, can't. Red or orange or something. Okay, um, I'm done. I'm done. It's not intuitive to be able to, uh, to make out the controls. I'm sure I need to go forward and hit things, but with the blocks, the gray, the black, I, I'm sure it's part of the game. Oh, and I've, I've changed my background, I'm sorry, to dark void. So if you're seeing just a dark picture, that's that's why. I'll try to keep this in focus. Um, 
light sensitivity, so having a dark background is better for me. It's a dark void. Um, without having good contrast, it makes it hard to enjoy the game, uh, even on easy mode. Like I said, I was in it once before. As you can see, I didn't have any any progression. Um, I remember swinging at things. I love dungeon crawlers. I play them on flat screen, you know, on Xbox. I, I play uh, games that have dungeons and just the dynamics. I can change the brightness. I can, you know, make things higher contrast. Uh, Ancient Dungeon is not one that I think I'm going to be able to do, unfortunately. So, uh, another game that I really wanted to be able to play and unable to, um, not all games are going to be accessible. And I thought it was important, it was a good suggestion, uh, that I mentioned some games that I can't play and why. Um, maybe this information will be helpful. For, for not only other players looking for games that they can play, um, but if developers happen across this, maybe they can see what they can do to allow players with vision problems to easily uh, access their games, um, especially since VR is pretty good for low vision people because there are lots of things that we can play in. And uh, I'm not one of those that feels that games need to be made easy. I don't want to go around and one hit everything uh, or not die or, or what have you. That's, that's not what I want to experience. I just want to be able to access the game and play it. And I, without certain features, it's just not possible. Um, but things like text size and, and how close you can get to an item to read it or having a, a settings menu so I can see my controls and see what they do, having that more accessible would even help. You know, if I fall through a floor because I fell in a hole that I can't see because it's a gray floor and the hole is black, then, you know, that's, that's kind of on me and that's due to my vision issues. I don't necessarily want the developers to change the intent of their game of, hey, you got to be careful where you step. I just want to be able to know how to play it. Um, I want to be able to access the settings. I, I don't think these are too difficult to ask for. Um, voiceover, I understand, is expensive for game developers, but even if they had an AI that could read the, uh, the speech to text, even if it's just a, you know, like a screen reader um, type voice, even that would be preferable to not having any. Um, and that would not require paying a voice actor. Uh, just suggestions, hopefully constructive criticism. Thanks for watching, and this is another one that I'll be uninstalling. Bye-bye. See you next time.